Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and Facebook page Industrial Engineering. I, Prakash Kadam, is here today to share with you the concept video on why productivity, models of productivity. In previous video, I have also explained the measurement of productivity and the concept of productivity. So friends, before we start with the lecture, what you will learn, learning outcome of this video, after completion of this lecture, students able to understand and learn why productivity is important. Understand the concept of productivity. Describe, students able to describe the productivity models. Then you are able to understand concept of productivity index. So friends, we start with the why productivity. The so productivity is important. Why? Because see, this is the cursor pointer. We show you. When the in company, here is the company or organization or enterprise, here is the higher the productivity that will uh, with the higher investment due to the higher investment will be there and due to the increase in the production rate, the higher with the GDP per capita of the uh, the state or of the country, so that will be the higher and automatically higher the standard of living. Friends, that's why it's a very important to this productivity for each level, for industry level, or the for state level, or for country level. Okay, so this is why the productivity is important. Next, we'll study the introduction to productivity. For defining the productivity is a technical concept. See, this is a technical concept. Uh, for the scientific management, it is used. The productivity is the ratio of output produce ratio of output produced which contribute to the accomplishment of the mission mission means objectives of the whatever the industry or the enterprise or the goals achieved and per unit of resources consumed that is input what are the different resources with optimum resources were to achieve the our goals produce the product and so we can it is the finished product, quality products. So, by comparing with the similar ratios from base period with the same increase or uh, the same quality or increased quality, that will be productivity. So, then what is the productivity? Productivity is the product quantity, that is the output, divided by resource quantity, input. This product quantity or maybe in the terms of the Rupees, uh, many already we have studied in the major how to measure the productivity. That output is important. Whatever the resources are using to create this output, that is nothing but the input. So, friends, in detail, we study the various models in this lecture. So, before going to the study the model, what is the productivity concept? You must be clear the productivity concept for the here this productivity concept, productivity measures already were studied. How to do the measurement, productivity measurement model, we are going to study here in this case. The causes of low productivity that you must try to understand and the productivity improvement techniques we are going to learn in next lecture. So what's that lecture of, of this productivity? So friends here, see the productivity models are defined by the few scientists. So it depends on the input system, input, and after that the process, that is system, that is transformation into a output. Okay. The productivity model is the measurement method. The thing of the measurement method, which is used in practice for measuring productivity. We have to measure the productivity for these methods are there. So, productivity model must be able to compute output upon input when there is a many different outputs and inputs are there. When inputs that will be process or transformation of this input or resources available into output. So that will be the process by the industry or for the service industry. So friends, here is the productivity models. So we have the productivity measurement method models depends upon following factors. 
these are the few factors the purpose of productivity measurement you must be clear that factors means what is your purpose to calculate the productivity that may be uh, using this labor or uh, material energy or the other expenses okay so that are the input sources to the output output in, in terms of the your what is the production okay the resources available for the product measurement that is also considerable already we have discussed the capability of the people involved in productivity measurement so what are the manpower we are using laborers we are using that capability also we have to involve the for the productivity measurement so these are the few factors the productivity measurement models depends upon the following factors also this is the organizational setup how the organizational setups are there for that productivity it is also depend the productivity okay the types of product and composition of market segments what are the types of products and composition of the market segment and available data to you that will also uh, the models of the measurement of productivity will depends okay the measurement of productivity models different models are there the three basic models are which are very well known models are there peg and harris model taylor davis model american productivity center apc model three major models we are going to study and two more also we study but these are the three main models used in industry the craig harris model the craig harris in the year 1972 and 73 they defined the total productivity measure this model points out in adequacy of partial productivity measure already we have studied in previous lecture the what is partial productivity measure so what are the inadequate things in that partial productivity measure that will be find out it is also called as service flow model because the physical inputs are converted into currency it is very important to find out the productivity what are the inputs and resources we are using utilizing that will be able to convert into currency for example rupees that is a, or dollar or any currency we can able to convert and that are payments for services provided by inputs so that's why it is called a service flow model so friends the craig and harris model you can calculate here the total productivity already we have studied how to calculate total productivity but it is defined by the craig harris model here the formula is what the productivity is equal to q upon l plus c plus r plus q what is the p here total productivity l is the labor input factor and r is the raw material and purchase part and c is the capital input factor and q is the other miscellaneous goods services a is the uh, q upon l c r q that that is we can calculate the craig and harris model in the craig and harris model the is particularly useful for the medium size organization this type of the model particularly used in a medium size organization there are some deficiency in this model like it does not consider any technological change or change in human resources skill that is that's why this is a drawback we can say for this craig and harris model there are some intangible gains which is not measurable that for every organization and surprisingly no model consider the intangible factors so intangible factors are not able to measure okay so this model is craig harris model and every brand has its value if furthermore this value is based on upon the productivity the performance and effectiveness of the organization now, this is the fact this is in fact an outcome of all inputs this model is more suitable among all the available models 
to assess productivity of small organization for small organization and the independent product the total productivity you can calculate the when there is a less uh, products are there then you are able to calculate the productivity for a small organization it is useful friends we'll see the next taylor's davis model the total fa factor productivity tfp already we have studied in the last lecture the uh, of a firm is measured as follows in this model raw material was not considered as input on the basis that raw material is the result of the some other labor and efforts okay the contrary to craig and harris total productivity model they defined the total factor productivity here is the total factor productivity defined by the this taylor davis model so that is the difference in this one okay how to calculate the formula is tfp that is the total factor productivity s plus c plus mp minus e in the denominator in the bracket w plus b plus this square bracket again the bracket kw plus kf bracket close fb into df what is the these all parameters these are the all parameters are considered in this model the total factor productivity model here s is what net sales adjusted that is deflated to the base here that is important t is the inventory change what are the raw materials finished goods and work in progress wip mp means the manufacturing plant unsellable products like jigs and fixtures and special purpose machines are there that costing also consider to calculate the total factor productivity these are the or numerator uh, this uh, denominator the parameters are there these parameter are e the e is we have to deduct from this all this parameter and what is that e we have to exclusion of the material material and services purchased from outside from whom those who are manufacturing the the units okay so that uh, were uh, purchasing from the outside for the assembly and the depreciation of building plant equipment and renters what are the rent were giving to them that we have to deduct from this all the three parameters and in denominator w is the wages and that means the labor wages or and the salary given to the workers and laborers manpower and b is the benefits okay what are the benefits we are giving to them to work against the more uh, uh, extra work okay so kw is the working capital working capital what is invested and kf is the fixed capital and fb is the investor contributions and df is the price deflator so that will be clear in the financial concept so this is the formula to calculate the tfp so we can just the in detail by using this formula so this is the useful for the big firms okay in this model the raw material was not considered as input in previous one the raw material also as considered as input on the basis that raw material is the result of some other labor and efforts the raw material is result of some other labor and efforts the contrary to craig and harris model the total productivity model they defined a total factor productivity tfp model the taylor davis model is defined after the craig and harris model so reflection part is here to so what you understood from the previous part of this lecture pause the video for 5 minutes and try to write the understood learn for 5 minutes okay friends now you can play the video and go for, for further next is the apc model that is american productivity center model okay this this model distinguishes among the profitability price recovery and productivity so it can be utilized to measure productivity changes in labor 
material energy capital fpc model is based on the premise that profitability is a function of productivity and price recovery the productivity relates to quantities of output and quantities of input while price recovery relates to price of output and cost of inputs so how we can calculate you see here the american profit center has measures that expresses profitability as a product of productivity and price factor they the way it is done the profitability they can calculate sales upon cost profitability we can calculate sales what is the sales of the our product and divided by cost required to manufacture that one okay so how to calculate it is sales we can calculate by using the output quantity here consider into price of that product we are selling that is the way your sales and the cost is what input quantity whatever the input quantities are there and into unit cost for the individually we have to calculate the for whatever the inputs are there the unit cost is required according to manufacturer quantity so that will be your input quantity and unit cost so friends output quantity upon input quantity is what productivity and into price recovery factor so is nothing but the price upon unit cost okay what the price upon unit cost that will be your price recovery factor so this is your productivity and this is your price recovery factor and then we can convert the profitability that is the important for the any industry so productivity is what output quantity upon input quantity so we can find out the profitability so the apc model is related to profitability and with the productivity and the price recovery factor we can calculate the profitability of any firm organization enterprise so apc model profitability in relationship with the profitability profitability and price recovery are represented as profitability is revenue upon cost it is the sales upon cost here is the formula shown to you that is the already we have studied this model compares the data from one period when we compare the base period with the data from the current period then we can judge it we are in profit or not okay this profitability is very important here the apc model this is the most suitable model for the managers who are interested to know about the profits of the organization rather than the productivity those who want to know profitability they can use this model also this model is most suitable for the investor also for investor those who want to invest in that company they can calculate and they can find out the this by using this model of the uh, uh, for that organization due to this what comprehensive approach it is much applicable and most commonly used for the uh, beneficial to uh, the investors those who want to invest in any company they can use this apc model number of persons are investing in the shares they can use this model to calculate the profitability of that company this model also helps in reducing the resistance created by managers in productivity measurements when they find out the profitability is going to reduce then the formula we have studied this uh, profitability is what is nothing but the productivity into price recovery this will not change but we can reduce this or increase this productivity that will increase the profitability so ultimately the whatever the resistance uh, coming from the manager level or the uh, employee level or the um, workers we can um, uh, give them the details so they so that they will not resist to the decision by the managers so friends next is the this is the extra uh, model generally use is the kendrick and peemer model 1965 introduced the productivity indices at the company level in their book they are having book measuring company productivity they propose two types of indices the total productivity and partial productivity 
इस पार्शियल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ लेबर कैपिटल मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी प्रोडक्टिविटी इंडेक्स कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज द पार्शियल प्रोडक्टिविटी इंडेक्स पर पीरियड इज आउटपुट इन अ बेस पीरियड प्राइस डिवाइडेड बाय एनी इनपुट दैट मे बी लेबर मटेरियल एनर्जी और एनीथिंग वी वांट टू कैलकुलेट फॉर द बेस पीरियड प्राइस ओके so total productivity index the measure period output in base period price in the denominator this measured period input in base period price input upon output upon input okay so total productivity index is we can calculate the net output on the total factor input there is a difference in net output and this output some fact, factors are deducted from this output we get the net output so we already have studied in the last lecture the some numericals so that will be clear you the total factor input is what man hour input divided by total capital so we can find out the net output how to find out the you know, net output gross output minus intermediate goods and services what are the goods is material and the services that we can deduct from this gross output that we get the net output so the total factor input is what the man hour input and total capital that is the total factor input here in the base is denominator we can also calculate the productivity index by using the net output upon total factor input so this is the method model the one more method model model we study in 1977 this sumans total profit model is given suggested the sumans provide a structure for finding productivity at a product level summing product level productivities to total firm level productivity the total the model also has the structure for finding the partial productivities at the product level aggregating them to product level productivities so total productivity tpm you can find out total tangible output upon total tangible input this tpm already was studied but under this model they have suggested this one to find out this tpm the total tangible output means what the value of finished units produce plus the partial units produce value and dividend from securities and interest from bonds and other income like this the total which can be able to measure the tangible outputs similarly the total tangible inputs value like human material capital energy other expenses inputs use that will be nothing but the total productivity model okay our method tpm so this is suggested by the sumans okay so these are the five types of the models we have studied so now productivity index uh, you are already aware with this uh, the productivity index is the nothing but the ratio of productivity measured in some for some time period that may be quarter or half year or yearly to the productivity measure you know base period so that will find out the your productivity index so for example to example i will clear you if the base period productivity is calculated to be 1.5 following periods productivity is calculated 1.9 the resulting productivity index is 1.9 that is the ratio of productivity measure in some time period okay this is some time period 1.9 in the denominator 1.5 you will get the 1.267 that is your productivity index friends productivity is nothing but the a management concept technical concept scientific concept and we can also measure and different models were studied so the uh, what are the inputs of resources utilizing the minimum resources and So by processing it on its resources we will get the output as goods or in service industry services we can give it and we can match the what is the required quality did it the give to these customers the customers will uh, satisfy the standards and uh, with the goods services okay 
So here, the efficiency part is come to from input to the output. What is the efficiency for the input and processes and output? You can calculate the efficiency part. Here is the effectiveness. Effectiveness after the output, it will be the effective or not. The expected customers are satisfied or not. That will be show the effectiveness and this total efficiency plus effectiveness that will be the productivity. So friends, understood very clearly this your efficiency and effectiveness will show the productivity. So how is the productivity calculated? The efficiency plus effectiveness. So friends, end of this lecture, what are my top three takeaways? You try to think and watch video again and again to learn this concept. So thank you. If you are not subscribed to my channel, YouTube channel, 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 channel,